Welcome, welcome everyone, welcome. Welcome to our uh, show and tell uh, stream um, where I will be doing my, the latest modifications for the backpack and at the same time having some coffee with you. Uh, I will be going through what we have so far and then um, show you why I had to make the changes I made along with the latest things we had to buy in order to make sure 100% or as 100% as possible to that everything would be as smooth as possible again at uh, TwitchCon. Uh, you can't predict everything, but you can do your best, thank you very much, to prepare yourselves, right? And uh, hello, Holgen, how are you doing today? Oh, Dasan wants to join us as well, I see. Look at him, he, he, he comes always next to me. Hello. Hello. He comes here and begs me for me to, not begs me, but he expects to be put on the couch. Put on Dexter. Yeah, Pano. Pano. There you go. And uh, Flamestrike, good morning, good morning. Nice of all of you to uh, join us here. I see it's a, it's a very bright outside, so I instead try to use the light outside. Uh, rather utilize the full light inside. How are you doing today, Flame? So, uh, yeah, let us have uh, some coffee here. Uh, I'll show you what I got, what I'm planning to do today. And uh, hopefully things will work out. Cheers, everyone. Well, I'm so glad uh, that you joined us, uh, Holgen, and that you're good. Cheers, everyone. And remember, always buy a Ferrari. Forget the rest of the cars, eh? Always buy a Ferrari. And uh, enjoy your Ferrari mic as well, uh, Flame. It's so nice uh, knowing that some uh, other people have a Ferrari cab that can join us, that can join in. I have to say, how does it feel to drink from a Ferrari cab, uh, Flame Strike? How does it feel? I am really curious. Uh, honest, honest, as honest as possible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. I'm happy to hear that. And I hope everyone is well. I don't know if you've seen the VOD or um, catch, uh, watch us live when we put a, a streamer backpack. And so here is what we got so far. I didn't focus on aesthetics, I focus mainly on uh, practicality and on, well, yeah, I need to switch this around. Wow. I focus on practicality and uh, I just went to get like the first bunch or the first version of the student's backpack out we went for a test drive it was good but it wasn't what we expected and uh and uh hello ace well fair enough fair enough ace hopefully we're gonna see out this soon enough in uh, formula one see what kind of technology they have and nice of you to greet everyone. How are you doing today, Ace? No, this is my backpack, and I call it Streamer's Backpack because, or maybe I should call it Affiliate Streamer's Backpack. It's a poor man's backpack. Right? Uh, so, here, what you have is, I'm just gonna go through it quickly. I have, the Go, I have the GoPro backpack with the GoPro El Grande, uh, this uh, huge ass selfie stick that extends from 38 centimeters to uh, 98, 95 centimeters, uh, which is almost a meter, which is like, what, three feet? Something like that. Um, and then you have the connection here uh, that you may be able to see. Let me put it a bit to the side. So there is a connection here where you can see in order for me to, to go to connect the uh, the stick, right, to the gimbal, I had to connect one connection, 
and the second connection to have an adapter from uh, GoPro to the gimbal and then the gimbal. So I went downstairs yesterday in my basement because it was raining to do some tests. And while I was walking, I don't know if you can hear it, but while this is moving, it makes a cringy noise, like the one plastic maybe is at its edge. Although it seems like a solid plastic, I don't know if you can hear it, uh, but it's it's actually picked up by the microphone. And it was really annoying when Tasha uh, pointed it out because when we first went out uh, streaming, I didn't notice it. It was loud, a cart, but when you put it in a very quiet environment, the microphone is picking it up. Not something that I would love to, uh, to have on stream. That's why, so the instability here. So that's what I will be addressing here, along with the sound. So imagine that the gimbal is positioned like this. So I'm here, microphone is to my far left and back. So it's not even in parallel to my mouth, it's backwards. And although this microphone is what we call a cardioid, which has about a, a rather wide angle to pick up sound pattern. You can Google it, just cardioid uh, sound pattern or cardioid microphone pattern. And you will see like the angle it covers, but it definitely does not cover anything behind it. And uh, especially at the angle I was. And although it was picking up what I was saying, I had to actually um, have my voice or put my voice at a higher level in order to um, be able to be heard clearly. That's something I didn't like. So I was in this episode, we'll also be addressing the sound, how it's going to improve. Uh, but the problem now we have instability that had to be addressed. We have the sound that has to be addressed. And also, um, I will be doing some functionality now. I will be putting the wires together with some, I don't know what this is called, where you cover the wires so they stay together and it's not going to be a huge mess. And maybe we can use some of these bands to stabilize things. I don't know what else is needed. Now, the new microphone position will be right next to um, right next to my face, to the bottom left of my face, like near my mouth. And uh, you will see I will be putting it on this strap here. Now, if you saw on the last episode, on this slot, I had instead the light. The light has a new position now, and that's why I bought this uh, streamer's backpack because of all this, not so, so that's why I bought this GoPro pack because it allows me lots of flexibility and it has factory issued slots, which makes a world of a difference rather than me, which was my initial idea to sew things on it. Can you imagine <laughs> me trying to sew something very stable and good? Me, not. Not that it's not possible, just me. So uh, today, and if you have any question, of course, to ask, uh, we will be doing just that. We will be making this more stable. We will be changing the microphone position. And um, we will be fixing a bit the wires to be a bit better looking. And then we will be taking it out for a, for a test. And hopefully you'll be around, guys, to give us some feedback. Of course, again, just like the previous vote, I, I did upload it on YouTube and I will be giving you also the changes that I've made on the second video that I will upload also on YouTube. I haven't yet uh, published it because I need to put, or maybe it's published, I just need to put the links of the gear that's included. Now, I could have, uh, as um, I believe, uh, flame strikes that I can just buy a Gun Runs backpack, which is a very famous one, very solid, very expensive. This backpack that I built here is under 1,000 euros. And I think that uh, 
it's very important uh, for me to, since that my budget is a rather limited one, to provide as high, like, high quality experience as possible without having it being too expensive. Now, third but not least is we bought a few other things in order to, as I said, make sure that the experience is as smooth as possible. So one of the things I bought is another battery pack. That will be our third battery pack, which it's 20,000 each, which makes it a 60,000 amps uh, of, of uh, energy, of power that we can utilize. Um, of course, the reason I wanted the third one is in case I had to use two on a single stay stream, when I go back home, I can have an at least one being charged. So if I had the two with me, I had to have a backup being charged. Otherwise, if I had one with me and it ran out and the other one is home charging, I'm gonna be out of options. So I had to, it's very expensive, but I had to buy a third one to make sure a third uh, battery um, uh, power bank, as this is most well known. Um, to be safe and the uh, hello Akabax. thank you for greeting everyone how are we doing today Akabax? so yeah so the three points we're gonna cover today the stability of the of the gimbal i mean the less it moves as well allows us to you know imagine if i'm walking around and it's moving like uh, you see i don't know if you can see it but it's good that it absorbs the energy of the movement right it's good. Sometimes something being too rigid, it can crack, but I'm really uh, want to make it uh, more stable. And uh, awesome to hear, uh, Akavax. We are almost ready for Berlin. As I said, I will be showing you my last updates now and then uh, my uh, last modifications and the last things I bought and uh, we can go out and test it, play a bit games today. Uh, but I will again stop the stream early because I need to fix my pack, my my clothes, what I will take, make sure that everything is ready because I am traveling at um, 4 a.m. So everything needs to be ready before that. So stability, uh, my new microphone position needs to be fixed and handled. I bought a few things for that and uh, maybe fix a bit of wires in the backpack to look a bit better. All right, so I'm going to start with the wires. They are the easiest and it shouldn't be a problem. Try to handle them. Shouldn't, I said, right? I want to start with the wires. People gather up and the most important parts, they get to uh, watch them. I want to say more important parts that Things are a bit more interesting. This is just merely aesthetics. Now, hmm. will they be? Now, I'm just thinking now, if I put this duct tape around the wires, will they be able to go through that slot? See, I'm not, it's really hard to plan ahead, man. I just thought the thing, if I cover the wires, will they be able to go through this one? And I don't think so. So maybe I'll just, uh, hmm, just leave them be, <laughs> I guess. I mean, it's not that messy. It's just uh, the problem with these wires, I couldn't find shorter USB cables. So I'm kind of stuck with this. Um, oh, well, not so important. Yeah, we need to find a way to plug them back uh, in. Uh, I will fix it at the end. I'll, this is not so important. I just realized that the, the slot here where the, the water is supposed to come out, it's really tight. And uh, trying to get the what I wanted to cover the wires with might be rather uh, complicated. This will look ugly, guys. Sorry. But I do want to fix this. Don't want to that, that. Okay. So how do we fix these cables of being such a mess? 
I guess we can't, uh, like tie them together. Would that be an option? Like tie them here, here, at least to have a kind of a unified um, cable management, I would say. Now, this is the gimbal extension. Then fit the end in and then push it through the cockscrew method. Oh, I see. So to screw it through, I mean, I mean, we can test that. Do you think, uh, Flamestruck, and thank you for the input, do you think we should also, like, zipline them before we put the zip around? I mean, I can just zipline them, and then we can put the, uh, the coily, the coil around. I mean, I can also cut it, I guess, to make sure that it's not, uh, if it fits. I mean, let's try this, let's try this. I mean, I can, I can definitely... There are three different sizes of these things. So I guess I'll go with the smallest. There it is. Let's try one. Well, this is just the, uh, the streamer's bike pack uh, there. Just that. Nothing more. And hello uh, there. So I'm just going to... I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just putting this thing, ah, there. You see, I want to leave some space. I want this to be equal. One has an adapter on it, you see. So I want the adapter to be equal to the other. Uh, so you can like put them easily on the... Mm. On the power station, you see. Now we have this extension uh, that comes off. We can, I guess, simply cut it. No, I need I need a bigger scissors for that. All right. Cable management is really important with these things, otherwise they can make your life a living hell. So there it is. So every how many centimeters should we put these things? Like every 20 centimeters? Every like uh, 8 inches or so? 7? It should uh, be good. Cross two of them. Hmm. How do you mean uh, cross two of them, um, Akabax? I'm not sure what you mean by that. But it seems you're an expert, so I'm going to listen uh, as soon as I cross them. Do you mean like put one through the cables, like um, run, through, run them through the cable? Like perhaps, I don't know if I can, wait. One horizontal, one vertical. Hmm. Yeah, the thing is, I'm not sure what you mean by, by horizontal and vertical. The only thing I thought is perhaps, you know, just cover one cable take it down, spin it around, and then maybe go to the other cable, something like that. But I don't see the point of that, so it's not that most likely you're referring to. Cross them. Ah, do you mean so the cables won't touch each other, uh, Akabax? Is that the, so in a way to have a spacing between them, 
Mm. But the thing is, I want to use this uh, thing to cover it afterwards, so I'm not sure uh, space-wise how will it be if I do it. What do you think? I can open it up and see now. Ah, Reggie, hello. Well, we're get definitely getting ready for uh, TwitchCon. This is the last modifications uh, for the backpack. How are you doing today, Reggie? And uh, hello, uh, motivated. If I had to eat, I had something to eat. Or do you mean because I'm skinny? Uh, that's just good metabolism, mate. I eat like a bodybuilder as far as some uh, of the viewers when they see how much I eat. But uh, it's just good metabolism. Alright. Uh, how are you today, uh, motivated? So yeah, I just don't want... Uh, it's already rather tight uh, as far as I see. You see, uh, it might... I don't know if you can see this. And not be able to fit it in. Uh, not at all, uh, Ace. Uh, what's a softbox? So I don't know what a softbox is, so most likely I don't. Um, as a light source, um, for this area, I'm using studio lights, Ace. Uh, I don't know if that's what they are called. It's just those things with the light in the middle and the uh, kind of white cloth around it to kind of deflect the light and have a softer touch to it. And I have... Uh, one to the right, one to the left. And to balance the bit, I also turn on the light right above me. So it doesn't cause any shadows um, on the face. Now, the light outside is too strong for that. So my studio lights are not that uh, advanced to compensate for it. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think it will fit if I expand it too much, unfortunately. Akabax. It, it's rather, uh, you can see, it's rather a tight one. Let me see if, uh, if it can fit this one at least. Yeah, I mean, you can have it something like that, I guess. Okay, cover it up a bit. Ah, for that, uh, Ace, yes, well, for that, I have I have a light, but it's not something special. What I did was, because, you know, especially when I started streaming, I realized the light is a problem. I used the normal, like, you know, those lamps, you know, that you put in the living room, right? And then I put a white paper around it, and it kind of uh, deflects the light on my face uh, equally. And... Uh, it's it works pretty fine as far as i see on uh, on the stream uh, it's my own modification of the light uh, rather than buy something uh, specific ace so yeah i think i'm gonna do it like that i'm just gonna oh. and anyway having the light as a source it's it's only good if if it's not directly directed in your face if it's directed in your face like because the windows are here. If, if the light is on one way, uh, it's, you know, it's different. And then throughout the day, it changes. And then I have uh, like shadow on one side. And then uh, by, by uh, the evening light, you get the shadow on the other. So I had to, uh, I'm using uh, my own custom kind of made thing in order to compensate for that. Yeah, pretty much uh, in a way, uh, it's pretty much. I try as much as possible to, since the stream is, uh, is very small and whatnot, to make our own modifications, our own, um, with the, with simple things around the house as much as possible. It, it, it definitely is cheaper. <laughs> and uh, I want that. I, I don't have a big budget. Um, so uh, it's also nice to kind of put your head to try and uh, do something 
you know, uh, which might be a bit more challenging with a lesser budget, but it makes you more creative. Oh, Tasha definitely, <laughs> definitely trying to be stealthy. She's also preparing for the trip. She's going around. Yes, Tasha, you're trying to be stealthy. They can hear you though. You're walking around like an elephant. Huh? Stealthy. You don't know what stealth is? Stealth aeroplanes? Rogue stealth and trying to ambush you? I don't mean... Ah, uh, sneaky? So, yeah, in a way. Not to be seen. I'm cleaning the house. Yes. Oh, and very nice. I will do the rest later. Don't, don't, don't wanna know. All right, let's keep let's keep fixing the cables here. Don't don't mind your mama, Dasan. Yeah, she's problematic. Yeah. So now, for those who are joining us, welcome. I'm just uh, trying to put the wires together and uh, have a bit better um, cable management for the backpack i don't want it to be all over the place and since these cables will all will always in a way uh, uh be together it's a good idea to like have a have them like smooth All right. These things are pretty nice. And I'm uh, having my second cup of coffee for the day. So cheers, everyone. Hope you're having a, a nice day. I'm flying to Berlin in uh, about for, I'm going to start my trip in about uh, 15 hours. So yeah, definitely lots of things to be done. I'm a bit nervous how because this is the last uh, test stream for the backpack, so I'm a bit nervous how that will work out. But hopefully, with your feedback and uh, whatnot, everything will go well and have the best possible experience. And uh, cheers, uh, Ty! Cheers. If I could turn back time. I'm trying to tighten them up. Don't want them to be all over the place. What? Why is it not being tightened well? Oh, I think I put it wrong. I put it wrong this one. Oh my God, my bad. All right. Okay, okay, this is right. I put it uh, in reverse so it wasn't connecting with any hooks and I was like wondering what's wrong with it. Ah, Mario, long time. Ah, yes, I have the, I had this cup uh, since 2011. I bought it from uh, Milano. And uh, I've been taking it with me as much as I've been taking my dog with me uh, when I was traveling around. Hard to have a cup of coffee without my Ferrari cup. <laughs> How are you doing today, uh, Mario? I'm just uh, here fixing, uh, doing my the last modifications on my uh, streamer's backpack. All right. Yeah, I'm just doing it about every 20 centimeters. Uh, and then just cutting off the unnecessary uh, edge.
Here we go. <laughs> Dasan is just uh, next to us sleeping, enjoying his time on the couch. He, he does. It's not about him liking the couch. His bed is probably better. Uh, it's just he likes being near me. Oh, that's very nice. It's always good to get back to it, isn't it, uh, uh, Mario? Sometimes it's hard, right? You know, to get back into exercising, but uh, you you kind of remember why you do it and how well it feels once you are finished with the run. I think it really makes you feel rather fulfilled as a person. You know, like you achieved something or did something out of your... Uh, you know, productive. Oh, I'm, I'm happy for you, Mario. I'm happy for you. All right, almost there. Almost there. At least with these wires. Yes, yes, we have time. By the way, if you guys have any questions uh, about uh, what we're doing here and whatnot, uh, please do ask or any question about the backpack. Uh, today I will also be uploading the, sorry, I already uploaded, but I will be editing the video um, of when we first put the backpack together. And uh, I will also be um, uploading this one. So you guys can watch it at your own convenience and also see the materials and the total budget that it was. Um, spent in order for this to happen. And uh, Outsider, hello. Well, nice of you to greet everyone, uh, Outsider. Pastan, say hello. Rude. Who taught you those manners? How are you doing to the outsider? Ah, uh, no, it's it's his uh, it's his cover, Mario, because we have a a, a black couch, as you can see, and a, and a bland slash now that he's old white hair dog. Uh, it's a huge contrast, so it's his cover, and it's easy to, you know, kind of wash it and switch it to the fresh one when necessary. Oh, almost there. No, probably gonna... Because um, I can use two more. Yes. And uh, Vortalex, hello to you too. How are you, uh, Vortalex? If I could turn back time. Oh, how mean of you, Tasha. <laughs> how mean. Oh, thank you for the question, Mario. So I will be streaming through the phone. And uh, no, I won't be using any portable router as uh, I've asked around, at least here in Germany. And apparently at least they, oh shit, wrong. Uh, the company that I'm, um, I am subscribed to, that I have the contract with for the unlimited data, do not have any such thing. So I, I don't know how to kind of handle that. Uh, so at the moment, I'm simply through the phone. Uh, we're gonna take a test drive. It's a it's a good quality as long as the internet is stable, right? It's it's very good internet, but sometimes it falls off. So good, but not very reliable, unfortunately. A big pot of soup. What kind of soup, uh, Vortalex? So yeah, that uh, the routers and whatnot for the streamer backpack to take the next level, Mario, will happen, you know, 
through the time, you know, improving. At the moment, my money, uh, the fact that I actually put this together, it's kind of uh, extreme for me. But I think it's a huge event, uh, TwitchCon, and it's something that I want to bring you as high quality as um, high quality con as possible. And um, you guys deserved it. And uh, of course, also I want to show that it's important that all the support I've been getting from you goes into these kind of uh, improvements. And uh, wait, what? No, like this. No, like this. No, like this. And uh, helps the channel grow as well. Oh, I see, Mario. Well, uh, my dog goes where you tell him to go. And then once an area is kind of established as his, he goes there without even showing him where to go. The only thing you, I did initially is that when he violated the space area, I was like correcting him. And then he realized where his space is. As long as you're as patient with most dogs and you're consistent, there are some dogs, of course, that are more stubborn. Than others. I mean, you can stream uh, in HD, uh, Mario, with 4G. I mean, 4G LTE means uh, 120 megabits download and 40, 50 megabits upload. To do a full high definition stream, you need between six and maybe 10,000 kilobits, which is, you know, four or five times less. So 5G, the connection, it's a very sensitive one, of course. As you guys know, the higher the frequencies, the more sensitive they are uh, from um, obstacles, obstructions. So um, I'm wondering how that technology will pan out. So here it is everyone, time to uh, also cover the wire. Hmm. Ah, this will be annoying. Sorry Dasta, I have to spin it all the time. You spin me round, round, baby, right? Yeah, it's better to spin this. Hmm. Oh. oh my god, this would be pain. Alright. Probably it's better if I let them loose and maybe turn around each other by themselves. Nah, doesn't work. Does not work. Um, well, the thing is, uh, in the middle of nowhere, like even in Germany, uh, Mario, uh, only the cities have strong, or even not all cities have strong uh, LTE signal. So, even if you get 5G, actually, Mario, as I said, uh, the, it's very easy for the signal of the 5G and whatnot to be, um, it's very sensitive, let me put it this way. And that's why you might have a bunch of uh, very strong LTE signal, but the moment you send it to a building, it switches back to a lower frequency, which is the 3G. And uh, all of a sudden your speed uh, goes to uh, non-existent. Basically, you can maybe use WhatsApp. Um, I mean, I don't think so. I don't see Germany. Germany is rather... Uh, behind when it comes to internet. I don't know how Italy is, to be honest. But Germany is definitely not very progressive with the technology of internet. One of the problems of Germany when it comes to that is that they have many uh, small cities spread around. Right? They don't have uh, cities, a uh, few cities where the vast population is concentrated, which 
it's really hard to make such huge huge investments to small cities. Like Kaderberg is a is a small city but of 130, 150,000 people, lots of students, so maybe the infrastructure for better internet is worth. But go to other cities with lesser, you know, with less population, it's really hard to invest in an infrastructure. Like in Cyprus, most people live in cities, so investing in infrastructure will cover most people. And then the stats will show, oh, in this country, 80% uh, has um, LTE coverage. And then you go like, okay, show me the percentage of people living in cities. And it says 80% live in cities, you know, in big cities. So it, it's really hard in a country like Germany where the population is rather spread around. Imagine it's a country of how many million Germany? 60? Uh, something like that? Lots of million. And the biggest city is like what? Two, three million? It's not much. Eight-ish. And the biggest city it doesn't have that kind of uh, concentration like London or Paris. It's because everyone is just spread around, which is very good for the economy, but very bad for internet, uh, you know, infrastructure to be applied everywhere. Oh no, I'm not really high tech, to be honest, uh, Mario. It's just, you know, when you start getting into, into these things, you know, like when I was researching about LT to get on my phone, I just do research when I'm interested in a product. I do research in order to make sure that I know how to uh, handle the technology, how to, uh, to understand the technology. And uh, when something goes wrong, at least I may have an idea as to what's wrong. My God. I feel like I'm uh, woving here, weaving or whatnot. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, as outsider said, uh, depending on the concentration in the main cities, you have a higher percentage being covered by better internet. And uh, it's sad, it's sad. But it's a reality. I just hope uh, the, the highways here in Germany have uh, LTE because I can bring you live throughout the trip. But I, you know, on my way to the airport. But I don't think that will be happening. I don't think that's the case. I will try though. I will try as I said as much as possible to bring you live. Of course, there are some uh, parts inside TwitchCon and in TwitchCon that you are not allowed to stream. Because if you are going to stream TwitchCon, what's the point of buying a ticket? Twitch will be streaming uh, themselves, so there is that. How to become more efficient with this? I mean, I always like technology, but you know, um, things I liked in technology were different. Uh, cars, technology, computers. When you get into streaming, things like technology of cameras, of um, of other aspects of the computer, uh, they you kind of have to know these things, right? Like so many people, when I first started streaming, helped me build my equipment because they were more experienced. And uh, from there, I started, you know, doing it myself, my own research. And I'm, anytime someone has questions, I try to help them because I've been helped by others, along with my own experience and knowledge. It builds up. Oh, that's very, <laughs> that's very lucky of you. Uh, outsider here in Heidelberg we have fiber optic but very few buildings have the connection uh, being taken into the houses it's right outside our doorstep but you have to you know kind of pay make an investment in the building in order to be bring fiber optic inside the building so most of us inside the buildings we have cable connections that are 
connected to fiber optic by this cable. And uh, hello, Dice. Um, not really, not really, Dice. Uh, at the moment, uh, the only thing, and uh, thank you for the question in regards to if I quit WoW. At the moment, the only thing I can think of is uh, TwitchCon, I have to admit. Uh, I have so many things in my mind, so many things uh, they're gonna, you know, with the, the gear mostly, and uh, of course going there and having some fun. So, since, uh, you know, since I was removed from the guild, and I didn't want to raid with Nefarious anymore, I, I simply said, well, you know what, I'm gonna go to each con, get that out of the way, have fun, and once that's done, I will decide what I'm gonna do next. Most likely, I want to join um, an average guild or, or a guild maybe that, you know, it's an aspiring guild, but perhaps they they lack the experience. Um, they kind of, um, you know, maybe they need some guide with content that they haven't uh, been experienced with and uh, I, can, I can help them with the... Uh, content and uh, yeah, I want to give back as well. It's not always about taking uh, dice. So yeah, those are my thoughts. But that decision will happen once I am uh, back from uh, TwitchCon. Right at the moment, I have too many things on my mind. I don't want to make a rash decision. Um, so there, of course, the possibility of me. Uh, slowing down from private taking a break from private service and waiting for classic is also there of course uh but i want to make all that decision once uh, i come back and uh, if you have any other questions guys to ask really uh simple well that actually can be uh, you know, can be prosecuted. Now, if if what they did, like, oh yes, your city has fiber, as in the internet arrives there with fiber, but then it's spread out with cables, uh, with copper cables and whatnot, you know, that's, that's, a, that's an issue, right? But it's, it's really hard to deal with this company. It's like, oh yeah, we said it, we bring, uh, we bring you, um, if they, if they phrase it like, oh yeah, we bring uh, internet to your city with fiber, yeah, it's one thing, but you do you bring it at my home? <laughs> you are most welcome, guys, anytime. I just, as you can see, look how many things that I have to do that I've never done before. I have zero experience with and I'm, I'm trying to kind of uh, get a hold of. And people are very kind here and they're helping me uh, put this together. So now I'm just doing some cable management before we move to more uh, important things. But I think cable management is important for... Uh... Yeah, it's important. I would say very important. If you get the cable management correct, you can your experience with your own backpack will be much uh, smoother and uh, less chaotic. If you want something to happen, you just open it up and everything is rather there for the taking. Mm. So I'm still having my cup of coffee before it gets cold. Cheers, everyone. Oh, it's going to be on the power pack. Oh, I see, uh, Mario. Well, the fact that you can watch a full high definition stream on your 4G, that says a lot. No, 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 not at all, uh, Holgen. I mean, guys, when, when I got uh, removed uh, from Nefarious, uh, Holgen, I was on Mixer and uh, there were like... 100 people came to see and talk about it. I don't mind talking. I mean, I'm always 
very frank and honest about you. I mean, there is nothing to hide. It just, especially the second raid I was doing Holgen, um, became very toxic, an environment where I didn't enjoy anymore. Um, I mean, I've done the content so many times, as most of you know, and for me, it's not about the content. It's about the people I raid with. And it feels like my, my raid leader didn't have trust in me um, anymore. So many things that would happen that were, of course I had to mistakes and I did mistakes and I was called out for, but those I kind of say sorry or what am I doing, whatever. But mistakes that weren't my own, 100%. And the person who was their own, they don't speak up. Uh, and uh, who don't speak up and they just stay silent. I every time someone makes a uh, someone makes a mistake and I thought I could have helped that guy not make the mistake or I could have played better to correct that mistake. I say I I take my fault. I take responsibility. Um, no, I wasn't kicked because of uh, the performance. I was kicked because I didn't like the raid. So I whispered the GM and said, "This is my last raid." Uh, but many people stopped raiding in Nefarious uh, and they remained as social. But I was kicked. It's just the leadership was under a lot of stress and uh, yeah, I think that's what happened. How does it look, guys? So mid-raid, I told them that this is my last raid, but I finished the raid. I... I was as courteous and professional as possible. Uh, I didn't wipe them intentionally. I didn't leave the raid uh, mid uh, fight. No, as I said, Trivas, no, I wasn't raiding Nakshramas. And I did raid Nakshramas uh, before uh, Trivas, both with Gnarly and Dreamstate. Part of the Dreamstate speedrun was me tanking Nakshramas. Uh, that wasn't it. As I said, I didn't like the environment anymore. So I whispered uh, the GM that this was my last raid. And after the raid was done, I was kicked. I honestly was planning to uh, just stay social in the guild and maybe if they need me sometimes, uh, I can, uh, you know, if they need emergency time, I can come in and help. But, uh, well, regardless, it, I've been, I've been called out before without it being my fault. And when I was telling Hata, it wasn't my fault. It's my fault. And I was getting whispers from the guildies that they were watching Mix and they were saying, we know it's not your fault. Right? And I'm not the person who's going to go and turn every single part into a GIF in order to show that it wasn't my fault. Right, I, I stream all day, I'm tired, I, I want, you know, I don't want to be going around doing that. And it feels like, and I talk with a few people in the fires, it feels like the guild is not trusting each other, right? It's basically, uh, you, you are to blame and, until you prove you are not to blame, right? There is no teamwork, there is teamwork, but there is no... Uh, team spirit, if I can put it this way. How does it look? I think it looks it look a lot less chaotic than it did before. Yeah. So now, Dastan, you are hitting me with your tail, dude. All right. Now this side would go on to the power pack, and the other side. Yeah, I think it's good. And I can use the remaining one to cover perhaps the the last piece and pieces. All right. So what's next? As I said, today we're gonna focus on, you know, kind of fixing the aesthetics, we're gonna change the mic position and we're gonna make the game, the connection here a bit more stable. As you can see, you see how unstable it is? And Tasha found something that will help us do that. 
and I will be uh, showing to you now and uh, let me show you so here the in order for me to connect this I will show you now is I have to have a few adapters and uh, connections which the more you have make it more unstable so the gimbal so the sorry the the selfie stick has this connection on same with the excuse me the handle and for me in order to make one connection to the next so i can go with another one in order for the gimbal to go up i had to use this thing which i will be taking off and showing you right now oh wow it's rather tough okay So I had to use this thing as I'm showing you now at the bottom right of the screen. Now you see this, it has this kind of neck and it's screwed in with three screws. So I realized when I was moving around with this, it was making some weird noises. As you can see, it's not a solid piece. I don't know if you can see the crack here. There's a crack, it's not a solid piece. You have the solid piece, the base, and then this is kind of screwed on it. This was the one that Dustin was using um, on his Fetchy. It's called, how is it called? Fetchy. Fetchy to stream um, to stream Dustin's walks from his point of view. That's what we were using. But it's 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 very it's very heavy the equipment that's on it. So I had to find something else. Now the other thing I had, again, had a bit of a neck. I wanted something a bit more stable, although this is very stable and it's a unified piece. Tasha found this, which is very close to the base, as you can see. It's very close. It's attached to it and it's a one solid piece. So instead, I'm going to switch from this neck. I don't know if you can let me put it to the side by side, to this one. You see? The center of gravity will be lower, there will be less moving parts and uh, less things to worry. Because I realized when we were walking about, it was making a cringy noise, the plastic. And I was like, oh my God, is it gonna fall off? Is it gonna crack? I don't know. And Tasha found this one, which also has this rubber thing for uh, to secure the connection and also absorb some of the uh, sound. That's one. The second one to improve connection, if you notice here, of course, I have this GoPro to a quarter of an inch adapter. Let me show it to you. This is what you use basically if you want to use a universal connection. It's a GoPro connection under. And then you have the quarter of an inch and you can connect basically anything uh, that has a quarter of an inch with a GoPro. Um, slots but this is plastic here again it you can see it moves around it bends not so stable so I made two new I made a new purchase and here it is it costs six euros but it's made of iron or steel I don't know what it's made of but it's very solid the screw is much uh, is much stronger and what's most important uh, that I noticed is that if you see the screw to the, the the silver one the silver card one has only only a few lines of um, you know where it gets screwed whereas this one it has like three so definitely to have a better connection. So for me, it's not about uh, the gear, uh, Holgen. Uh, definitely, if you guys need someone and uh, you guys need some help or with Max Ramos and whatnot, um, yeah, I'll be interested, definitely, Holgen. So which guild are you in, Holgen? Uh, remind me. Uh, so yeah, so I switched the adapter. I switched the connector. And um, it actually made... Oh, maybe I, I learned a few words in German as well. Uh, no, I already know. So it made a huge difference when I, because I already tested this, uh, when I put these two together. 
you see i immediately went from a really high neck and uh kind of plasticky many pieces around to a uh, a very solid and in long term i think this will uh pay off so let's screw this in and of course because i want something very stable here um Oh wow, it's funny that I wanted to put it and I put it wrong, damn it. <laughs> the, uh, it's not straight. No, I'm tightening it even more, no. Uh, these things can take a lot of power. Uh, so I'm the things that I can rely on or with GoPro. So and let me put it straight before, uh, you know, I wasn't 90 degrees. There you go. Now I can tighten it back in again. They always want to make sure that these things are solid. It's screwed in. So if you want to take it out or if it has any reason for it to bend, good luck, it won't move anywhere. Now, from there, of course, we just uh, slide it in. On the uh, El Grande selfie stick, we just lock it in with this uh, rubber, and then we screw this on it. And this is how I will be removing the gimbal. If I want to take it mobile, I will just unscrew it, which is a rather simple way of doing it, rather than using the. Um, I actually don't know what it's called this key kind of it's not a key forgot the name to undo it and do it every time it just you see and now this is somewhere where it gets tight as you can see it's pointing to the wrong way and i can use this the lower one don't know can, guys can you see if you cannot see i can uh try and zoom in or bring it closer um because this uh, connection has a, a 360 degree uh, bolt to it. So you can basically turn it, you see, anywhere you want. It's very flexible. And then I can just find the direction that I want to. And, uh, you know, straightforward. I can just screw it in again. And there you have it. And uh, Zahin, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And guys, I said, any questions you have about uh, the pack or anything I can help with, this is just a, a low budget or a lower budget uh, streamers backpack, trying to find the best balance between uh, budget and quality. Um, and uh, after, as soon as we are done, I will be going to the city or just take a brief walk, see how it is. You guys can give us some uh, feedback. All right, I think it's pretty tight now. This thing is really heavy, so it's really hard to. Yeah, I don't think it's going anywhere. Let me put it this way. All right, so now you have the gimbal and it's look at this. I don't know. It's way more stable. I don't know if you can see it kind of follows and I can feel it that this is way more stable the whole thing the whole connection is way better rather than having this kind of the neck sticking out all right so that's one of the issues we had the instability of the gimbal 
which was improved, I would say, by 50-60%. That's right. Second one was that while I'm walking, look where I had the sound hooked up. This sound position is good, right, if I'm holding the gimbal, right? If I'm holding it and moving around just the gimbal, it's good to have the microphone here. Of course, you can turn it around to point out the other way. So you can like have a direct, um, the sound will be directed straight away, um, you know, have a direct position. Um, but when I'm walking about, because I can not hold the gimbal, it's rather heavy. It's like uh, almost half a kilo. It's a has a huge battery in it. Um, that's why you're able to even charge your phone with the gimbal um, if you run out of battery. But regardless, it's gonna be very heavy. I can't do long hours uh, like that. So I will be using the backpack in a way to carry it. And I already put like this. Uh, bottle of water if you can see it here to kind of counterweight the one side until the backpack has more things in in it um, so for me in order to have better sound as i was walking and the sound was behind me to my left i decided to reposition the sound now those who are here the first time we we're putting this together they would notice that um the position that where the sound will be now was the old position of the light. Here it is. I had the light right here, which is nice, very good position, but it's also an ideal position for the microphone. I will show, I will wear it just for you guys to see how it looks like. Now, this thing, let me show you. To be connected, I need the base that I removed already from the previous position. So now I'm gonna use this base, which was the not so sturdy one because the microphone is pretty light. And the other one, it's a rather steady one. The light is heavier, so I wanna use them together. So now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna connect the two. I'm gonna connect the two, of course, with an adapter, which, ah, here it is. So let's connect them. What I'm doing now are modifications for uh, the full video, the initial one. It will be soon on YouTube along with all the things I had to buy to put this together. And uh, you can watch it there. I'm not going to tell it very much because I need to adjust it once it's on it. It's a rather simple one. Look. There you go. And then you simply slide it in. Okay, maybe not that. Maybe tell you. And then you slide it in and voila, you have the microphone. Now, as you can see, if I'm gonna wear this now, just to show you. The microphone is pretty much, this is the direction it has. It's a very weird direction. Sure, you will hear me great, but at the same time, if someone is talking to me in front of me, gonna be a really bad position how do we fix it so today i went to the Bauhaus, which is like a home center can kind do of, you know buy lots of things for building stuff for the home uh for professionals and i bought something to fix this issue what i bought is some of those uh rings you can use for the screws to have a better fit and them being uh, stronger. They kind of uh, increase the, the surface. Thus the strength is applied in more positions, making it more steady. So let me show you. I bought these two rings. They're the same size. You can see, it. you know them. I'm sure you've come across them many times. And uh, good morning, Dalton. How are you doing today? So I use these rings to position them on 
the adapter there. So when I screw this back in, the position it will have will be where I want it to be. Maybe not. Um, I think, well, let me think. Well, I was testing it. Uh, maybe it's one ring. Just trying to remember how I, I did it. I did it at the, uh, ho you know, I took this at the, at the store in order to make sure that it's correct. Maybe I shouldn't have. There it is. My God, it's so hard to preserve. All right, it connected. So. It's looking at the more di a direction that I want it to be. You can see now, uh, it's near my mouth. And at the same time, it's, uh, you can hear me very well. And it's pointing towards our direction without me every time I turn, I, I take a sniff of a dead cat. It's called a dead cat. <laughs> so yeah, here it is. So this is our new mic position. Now, the problem with this new mic position comes the fact that, and I will show you later, this is the wire that I have to deal with. It's a rather short one, and it has this kind of flexibility to it, but it's heavy because of, of it. And it has to connect from here. It has to reach the uh, adapter that you will see soon. Um, easily and without like dragging the gimbal out of balance so instead I went today out trying to find something I didn't know what but I came up across this I will show you now it's a rather expensive cable it's a 10 euro one uh, I know I know but trying to like have a good setup here. So having to pay five euros for a bit extra um, for the cable, as long as it does what I need it to do. And I think that's what this one will do. And it's half a meter, which is gives me some options at least. But at the same time, when something is too long, then it requires a uh, cable management. Yeah, it's an auxiliary, ca um, auxiliary cable, but not just your usual one, because this one, as I'm about to show you, it's a highly flexible and super soft one. The reason you need something like this, you see, look at this. It's very flexible. It's very similar to if you have iPhone, at least uh, I can give you that example from my experience. It because it's so soft, right? and uh, flexible and very light, it will allow me when I put it on uh, the adapter, which goes on the gimbal, uh, so which goes on the phone, it won't drag it together and it won't definitely pull it together and put it out of position as the, you know, see, it will be very soft, very nice. And uh, I needed something like that. I was actually looking one for a phone as well. Uh, it will have helped greatly. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything like that for the phone, at least for now. And uh, hello, uh, Wolfie. Good, good afternoon. Buenos tardes. Yeah, I am preparing for tuition. This is my uh, modifications uh, that I did, that I'm doing on the backpack since yesterday. We have to kind of improve positions and whatnot. So now I came up with this auxiliary cable that will help. It. Now, I was also looking for a cable that goes from uh, TRS, which is having two rings, and uh, to a TRRS, which has three rings. Unfortunately, I couldn't find such a cable that does, and I have to put another cable, puts a bit more weight to it, shouldn't be a problem. And here it is. Now, this cable, look at it, it's very, very light, very flexible. It has, as I said, the headphones of the iPhone, that kind of material, very light and flexible which uh, helps as well for it not to be tangled. And this will go and connect 
onto the gimbal, which I can actually already um, set it up. So you guys at least see how it looks like. So this is the adapter that I was using last time and still using for the gimbal. And it's, uh, it's a two lightning adapter. So you have one and comes out as two lightning, right? So you simply connect this here. And this is one of the problems we had last time. And you have to like position the, the phone in a very, very weird way. And the cable will be like this. It's terrible. It's terrible. They really need to figure out better uh, ways and it will be here you see the camera is positioned here so it's not uh, obstructed because if i put it upside down uh, differently it will be blocked um, and if i put it inside out you know like the screen facing it and uh, you know turn it like this it can work uh, but then the, you won't be able to manage the screen you won't have access to it so here it is so now as you can see here it tilts towards one side, right? Only natural. We're gonna fix that. That's why I have the weights. And uh, from there, you simply connect. Look at this, from Lightning to Auxiliary to Auxiliary TRRS to Auxiliary TRS in order for the microphone to work properly. Right? <laughs> So um, here you have it, um, that's one connection. The other connection, it's the power one that will also go here and the power one will uh, go inside the backpack. I'm gonna connect it soon. I just want to show you the new positions here and uh, perhaps I'm gonna remove one of the, see the, I had to also buy, you're gonna see in the first video, some weight balances here in order for this, because I knew this would happen. And it's obviously a problem that many have. So I removed one, can I remove a second? See, it already got balanced. It's tilting more to the to the other side now, but once I put the, uh, the charging cable for the iPhone, uh, then it will balance again and if it's not again we can keep balancing it until it's fixed so this cable needs to be managed uh, we'll see how that goes although it's a very light cable it's always good to manage things uh, it definitely is it definitely is uh wolfie um so that's why what we're doing now it's setting things up and then we're gonna go for a test drive uh all three of these um power banks are fully charged and I will also be uh, I bought stickers so we can uh, number them so we know what you we use and what we have yeah, it's fully charged cables let me put this back cables will go on it it has a USB connection and the other one is a USB-C. So I had to buy an adapter. As I said, all these you can see when I'm building it for the first time uh, on YouTube very soon. I will be also letting you know on Twitter. So please do follow our Twitter and uh, do join our Discord for live alerts. And uh, our YouTube channel, you can find on the main Twitch channel. Everything is there for you. So let's... Uh, Put this inside. Very nicely done cable here. Mm -hmm. It's a very long cable as I couldn't find a shorter USB cable at the store. Maybe next time I need to uh, check um, 
check the internet i didn't have time though all this was conceived very quickly uh so many things i had to buy from uh, the store now the last bits and pieces will go in as soon as we have uh, everything together here so this is the or is this the one no idea actually now i think this is the yeah this is a cable for the usb for the uh, gimbal you see the gimbal cable i want them all to be charged simultaneously both the phone and the gimbal and that's why i have two um, usb extension cables here i would be going through here Mm. Always find a hard time to put this through. All right. And um, hello, Lulch. Ah, again, Sean and Paladin. I guess uh, Sean, be sure to have a quick dagger. Ideally, a dagger that's fast, that's uh, 1.5 seconds or faster, uh, Lulch. Like the High World Spell Blade, or ideally, you can also even have the the dagger from um, from Venoxis, 1.3 speed, very good to have quick daggers, keep breaking his totems. Uh, make sure you fake cast your Mind Blast so you can use his Earth Shocks. And um, you can also spam, of course, rank 1 Shadow World Pains to get as many stuns as possible. Um, always chase him, get into his face. Um, most shamans are elemental, so just keep doing that. Uh, paladins um, again you you have to be patient rank one dots make them keep dispelling try to burst them while in fear and uh, use your silence uh, after the fear they will be very low most likely bubble and then you just have to survive for the next rotation of fear and silence kite them keep distance and also your hammer of justice, you uh, trinket your trinket for hammer of justice. Always use it after the first bubble when they are under pressure. If they if you use it initially, then they can just use it after the bubble and they can have a, a way out, right? So be sure to use it uh, the your trinket when it's emergency for the paladin, not for you. You are not supposed to be having troubles versus them. It's all about who outlasts who. Also having a separate charge or. Uh, or a grenade to make sure that you're gonna interrupt them or burst them, it's always a good idea. So now this is through, and I'm connecting the gimbal, of course, to the battery pack. Uh, it's already connected. That's one cable down. Yeah, many cables. Uh, not that many cables, but it's, there are a few here. So now I'm gonna bring my, my phone charging cable. What I don't like about this cable, and that's what I was looking for, it's very rigid. You know, it's solid, but it's very rigid. So sometimes when, when you use it, it kind of, because it's rigid, and maybe it's because it's new, it kind of pushes the, the gimbal to a certain direction. So I need to um, always handle that and find um, a more permanent solution to it. Um, and of course, Luj, if you have any other questions to ask, and here we go, you're gonna have to connect this. I'm just gonna put it through the backpack first. It will make it easier to put this through. The lighting cable is thinner, yeah. Now, I'm not sure if I put these things in the right one. I always test it uh, after I, wow, well, I have to hold it still. If, uh, because one is the right one and the other one is the wrong one, but there is no indication which one is which. You can only find out after 
you've uh, plugged them in and see if the sound is picked up or not. No, you don't want the cable, you see, you don't want the cable to be stretched down. You want it to be relaxed, right? Uh, because then the gimbal will be having a hard time moving around. Motors will overwork themselves and they will be worn out quicker. Also, the battery will be stressed. You, as much as possible, gimbal needs to be balanced by physics, you know, by, by natural, by the natural laws. So here it is. Let me put this cable in. All right. Now, you can see that the gimbal is not quite good. You see, it pushes through to the one side. It's the flexibility. It's not an easy one. Look, it's just pushing. So a few times I tried doing this, like putting the, the, the wire through to this side at least. Maybe the handle here pushes it a bit down. Uh, making a bit better experience right um, as I said the cable management it's it's pretty tough But what can you do? All right. So here is the gimbal. Everything actually now is set up. Uh, I can turn it on just to see how it will work. So now, as you can see, it's straight. Uh, the cable, it's flexible. Problem is if it wants to move here, it might be a bit hard. So uh, maybe it's ideal to to put it under. Yeah, I think so. Now let's turn it off to see how it's gonna be now. So now it's balanced, as I said. Oh, perfect. This is off now. This is off. So this is off, and yet yeah, it 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 looks okay. Right. So we find more or less the position here. The gimbal will, won't have to overwork itself in order to balance. As you can see also the phone is balanced and the order to find it, you just push it down a bit and then see if it comes straight up again. Is it straight guys? Can't really see it from here. It's bending a bit to this side. Is it, am I wrong? I think it's bending a bit downwards. Let me put it straight. Ah, look at me. Yeah, it's bending towards that way. So what we can do is um, maybe put another weight to it uh, to balance it out. See if that's going to work. Or maybe use this way uh, hook a bit more outwards for the center of gravity to switch. And then tie it up again rather than putting an additional one. Mm, maybe too much it feels like it's straight let me see how does it look to you it actually seems straight to me yeah i think this worked now of course in berlin i will be taking these way things with me uh because the real world it's different when it starts moving around maybe some cable shift around maybe this cable will uh, see it will be a bit higher so it will have a different uh, feel to it. So we need to see how that will happen. Uh, and maybe it needs to change. Actually, let me wear this. See if the weight shifts in any way. So the setup more or less, at least during the day, it will look something like this. Right. Of course, the gimbal is off now, so it's not balanced. So you can hear me well. I hope. Uh, I will hope. 
And uh, at the same time, is the gimbal turning? Tasha Mo, can you come for a sec? It's really hard to see from here. Is the gimbal, uh, is the phone straight? Is it? Uh, it's not on. No, 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 no. The phone, if, if it's straight. Yeah, a bit to the left. It's tilting towards the phone side. Yeah, it's a bit down. Okay, okay. Are you removed on it? So, if it's a bit towards that end when I'm uh, picking it up, perhaps maybe we can put another weight to it and uh, see how it's going to react. As I said, I'm just trying to. I can put actually a weight instead of at the edge. You can actually put one oh. here, here, or here, depending on the micro adjustments you want to do. Right. And as I said, I'm going to be taking this with us to make sure that all is great. How does it look now? Okay, now we go to the, to the right. To the right? But yesterday it was fine. Like, how come it's... Okay, it's okay for it to go to the right because then I can simply... Um, Oh, it actually moves a lot to the right. But now I can simply make, make a more micro adjustments with this thing, mm. which is... How oh, is it now? I think now it's straight. All right, let's wear it again, again. The thing is, as soon as you wear it, it changes uh, because the wires change positions. And that's why we're gonna be taking away with us to make sure that I think it's okay now. Is it? Yeah. Move it around, you know, bounce it. Just knock it down, see if it comes back straight. Yeah. I mean, it's microscopic mm, down Where? to the link, to, to the left. To the left? Yeah. It goes still a bit to the left? But a very tiny. A very tiny one, okay. Ah, you, how is the new cable? Well, the new cable is good, it just needs to be micromanaged properly. I'm going to have to put it through a... Uh, Yeah, the back. I'm probably gonna have to put it through here to make sure, or a few times through there to make sure that uh, it's not hanging about. It's not nice to have a wire, you see? So maybe I'm just gonna put it through here. Right. Yeah, make use of it. Make use of that again, and then it should be fine, right? So welcome everyone, welcome. Hope everyone is doing well, and uh, let me put this on again. Oh, wait. Oh, is it looking? Yeah. Did the uh, way change? Uh, did the uh, cable change? Change anything? Well, I feel like I think it could be more to the right. More to the right. No, I mean the phone. The phone. Is it like this? Just a bit, not so much. At uh, this side, on the right side is lower. No, on the left side. The left it's side is more lower. More to the right. To the left side is lower. Mm -hmm. So like this. I mean, it's fine now. It's just when you put it on, it's a bit off. Yeah, that's what I want. I want the so it tilts like down. Yeah, works. but just a bit. Okay. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Let's see. So, oh, so many micro adjustments. Yeah, of course, of course, uh, but, uh, but uh, I wanna make this adjustment first and then stand and see how it's gonna, because I do like the back is not touching the. I think that's perfect. Yeah, I do have to look this. That's a good point, uh, FG. How is it now? It's good. Okay, let me stand, see if uh, anything changes. <laughs> Imagine completely. But that's why we're going for a test drive now, see uh, the real world. Uh, how is it, Tasha? Is it straight? A bit to the right. 
Which is it? Just it tilts to the right. Yeah, but when I open it, it's the 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 right side is lower than there. Yes, yes, but just an even less than it was before to the left. Okay, well now I'm gonna make the adjustment. And how are you, Baz? How are you, FG? Even less. Okay. Yeah. So, so it tilts like this. Just slightly though. Yeah, but to the other side. Wait. I said to the right. So, but I don't know if you mean which side you said tilt. Which one is the lower one? Right. So this one? Yes. Sorry. So it needs to go lower. To the left, yeah, but just maybe, maybe. Well, it's really hard to find that. Maybe, maybe not, because then it's also fine where it is. I'm just doing these micro adjustments to be sure that uh, the motors don't be aren't used much. Yeah, that's how it is, uh, FG. But the thing is, if you don't uh, balance it well, the motors will overwork themselves to try to keep that balance. You see, so as much as possible, you want to use the physics or or, or a nice a good balance in order for the motor not to overwork itself and kind of burn the motors. So um, that's why the gimbal allows you to do these micro adjustments for uh, a longer battery life and a longer uh, technology uh, motor life. Okay, let's see. How is it now? It's straight. Ah, I was just saying that because you got tired? No, it's fine. All right, now it's straight. Now, as you can see on, my, on our first attempt of building this, I had the uh, the microphone on the gimbal. Now it kind of a bit of a weight. It was lifted, and uh, and the light was placed where the microphone is now. But I wanted the sound to be closer to me so you guys can hear me better. But where will the light go? And of course, and that's one of the reasons I bought this backpack for flexibility is that what you can do. You, I might. What you can do is connect this chest here. Oh, the side. I don't know where exactly it is. Yeah. Show me, is it this here? Yes. But I don't think you can no. do it. Yeah, I, I don't think this is meant to you meant to do it alone unless you want to do it before you get the... Move your hand away, so don't you? No, right here. Yeah, thanks. Okay, but you don't need to turn around on me. I guess if you practice enough, you can do it. Ah, okay. So now, <laughs> now we have this chesty, which of course you can relax a bit tight, but you can easily mm -hmm. relax it. There's no problem. Just need to adjust the, the straps a bit. I'm excellent. Perfect. So for night streaming, okay, there. For night streaming, we have to have an option. So here it is, guys. Go like this, goes up. You can simply uh, push this down. Easy. Lock it in. Did I push it down? Ah, it wasn't locked. Okay, lock it in. Again, use the adapter. the GoPro to a quarter of an inch adapter. As you can see, it's on, on the light already. And simply uh, slide in. Oh, I'm confusing the camera, I'll get out. And uh, there it is. And of course you can have the angle a bit lowered so you won't blind people. And at the same time, it's a bit lower than having it in the microphone position. So when they look at you, they won't get blind. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you are a robot. Now I'm a robot. So now I want to test this. Wouldn't it be nicer if you had a ready jacket on you when you were putting this? Because now I have to take everything off. Yeah, but I also need to adjust the microphone and I do other things. Ah, uh, okay. 
Well, at the moment, I haven't done. Uh, I, I have done a rough, uh, a rough estimate, but without the phone, it runs about. I mean, along with the power packs, right? With the, uh, sorry, the power banks, along with uh, everything I got for this, it probably ran about eight hundred euros. That's good, Akabax. If I blind all the kids that play Fortnite, that's not good. So if you have any questions to ask, uh, whew, I will be, as I said, um, I did upload already on YouTube the first part. Now this, what we did today was just modifications to improve uh, the gear and uh, we'll be going outside and testing it. And of course, any feedback, any uh, ideas for improvement. Of course, I'm not going to be going with the uh, light. It's rather bright outside, although I know. hope it doesn't rain soon. Well, it hasn't been raining for the past four hours. But now it looks grey. I know. Oh my god, we need to rush before it starts raining. Yeah, see? Things we have to... Ah. Okay, I'm gonna take that off later. After um, <laughs> off camera. But yeah, so uh, just give me about five minutes and I will be back online outside with this gear to uh, test it out. Alright. And uh, this video will also be uploaded on YouTube and you guys can uh, ask your questions and whatnot. As I said, uh, this is about one third of the price if I would buy something like a gun runner's uh, backpack. And uh, well, you would be the judges how good or how bad it is. I just try to, um, you know, come up with a cheaper solution, something that uh, Will help us enjoy Berlin and TwitchCon uh, even better rather than me going around holding something for hours at a time and my arm going numb. So yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you in about five minutes where we'll take this baby outside and test it. So uh, stay tuned. Five minutes. I'll be right back.